Hello all, welcome back to another video. For today's video, we will be looking at Rust programming language and specifically, a shellcode launcher that I have found written in Rust. Rust supports cross-compilation so it will be really convenient to do the setup on our Kali machine. Before we begin, here is a quick shout out to another fellow Singaporean who supported via my buy me a coffee donation link. Thanks Blank Shio, it is very much appreciated. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and happy hacking. Alright, let's dive in. You will need to install Rust on your Kali machine which I have already done so. You can follow the instructions here which is basically just a command to fetch the setup script from the Rust official website. I don't recommend running scripts on your machine without looking at it first. But this is my test Kali machine and it is in a virtual machine so nothing much can go wrong. Once that is done, let's look at the GitHub page of the Rust shellcode launcher program, Rusty Needle. Looking at the README page, we will need to generate our shellcode with MSF Venom and Base64 encode it. We will skip using the python encode.py script and follow from the alternate usage section over here. Rusty Needle will attempt to fetch the shellcode file remotely from our Kali machine, then it will execute it. Now let's generate the shellcode with MSF Venom and Base64 it by using the command provided. Let's also spin up a MSF console metaprinter listener for the payload. What we will need to do here is to edit the main.rs file and input our IP address that will be hosting the base64 encoded shellcode file. Once that is done, let's do a cross compilation to produce a Windows binary. Awesome, this looks good. Now let's spin up a Python web server on port 80 to host the node.txt file. Now let's hop over to our Windows machine and copy over the Rust shellcode launcher Rusty Needle. Nice, no detection upon dropping onto this. This is the standard sample submission dialog box since we have automatic submission turned off. We can just dismiss and ignore it. Manually scanning the binary returns no detection as well. Let's execute it. Hopping over back to our Kali machine, we can see that the Rust program was able to fetch the shellcode and looking at our MSF console, awesome, we got a call back. We have successfully bypassed the latest Windows Defender with all the protections enabled, establishing a functional metaprinter reverse shell. This is pretty good for a publicly available tool. Alright guys, this is it for this video, straight to the point, short and simple. I am always happy to share working projects that are publicly available with you all and I hope you all have enjoyed this video, have fun while it lasts. If you are interested in offensive security Rust programming, it will be worthwhile to check out this GitHub repository which contains many Rust toolings for penetration testing and red teaming. All of the references used in the video will be provided in the video description so be sure to check it out. Alright all, this is it. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all. And once again, many thanks to Blank Shiro for the awesome donation. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.